Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Steve Hampson. I'm the director of aftermarket solutions here at Cognitus, and we've been working on a, a product in uh, core SAP S4 that uh, we'd like to tell you about today. Uh, our focus and when we've been developing this product is really around uh, total asset value or asset visibility uh, when it comes down to, you know, like it says, keeping uh, one more play in the air, one more power system online. It's really from a maintenance perspective, how are we getting the most value out of this asset that we spent a lot of money on as an operator? And as an OEM and as a maintainer, how do we integrate with that operator to make sure that we can support it both from a, uh, a life cycle management perspective, as well as a um, continuous improvement perspective of those particular assets? And so what data uh, points are important to be able to collect and share uh, as part of the broader uh, uh, MRO aftermarket value chain? So if you think about some of the challenges that come across in total asset visibility, you know, forecasting is, is always listed as a problem because it's not always clear from an operating perspective uh, to the maintainer what is actually going on and how the asset will be used. So it's good to collect that data in real time uh, from that operator. Uh, supplier management with regards to, you know, if I've got an asset that's aging or something, how do I make sure that I've got the material available to me as well as anything that's long lead item? Uh, and giving them advance notice so they can uh, go ahead and build those things out when I'm going to need them. Uh, things like op tempo changes or seasonal changes uh, that may have impacts from a maintenance and operating perspective of that asset, and how do those impact the upstream and downstream uh, uh, maintenance execution of that uh, against those items? Uh, because the the variability of the of the assets use might uh, impact the plans and schedule of that and such. So. At the end of the day, it's it's looking at that asset not only um, for its life cycle traceability, but it's also the the visibility of that asset and how it performs, and and getting those details to the key uh, constituents uh, that want to act on that data in as much a planned and uh, perspective, so they can uh, optimize the that uptime for that asset and be prepared when it's down to be able to uh, get it back to meet its mission. So. We like to look at those uh, constituents as uh, these here listed on the chart. You know, it's the owner operator, if you will, uh, the OEM who manufactured it, uh, any kind of uh, suppliers to that OEM that might make components that make up that end item, a maintenance provider, spares provider, et cetera. But all of those have key pieces of data that uh, are need to be shared across the ecosystem. So how can we develop a, an SAP S4 system that takes advantage of those, um, the availability of the the information in SAP and shares it out to the different constituencies. Well, at the end of the day, it comes down to how do I collect the, the operational history and the maintenance history of that particular asset as it's going through the process. So that's kind of where we're focused uh, our solution build. And if you think about uh, the solution offering, it's really around meeting these uh, critical uh, success items like a, a fast turnaround of the asset while it's on the shop floor, uh, being able to uh, manage all asset opportunities um, in one system, uh, critical inventory management with regards to not only um, repairs, repairs, but also spares and rotables, and how do those support the overall value chain of the aftermarket business? Uh, and from a systemic perspective, you know, reduce data entry and and uh, high data integrity, because that's very important, especially in um, aviation industries, uh, to make sure that we're at that, that ready, uh, airworthiness for that airplane uh, is uh, certifiable, uh, so when it uh, it's ready, it's the, main, the maintenance is complete, it's ready to fly and not waiting for paperwork. Uh, Rolling team management is very uh, important from a cost management perspective, configuration management, et cetera. But at the end of the day, you know, SAP S4 provides the opportunity for automated solutions to enable that productivity, uh, which will uh, allow for a uh, better uptime for that asset as well, and a more efficient process uh, in the maintenance execution and aftermarket process. Um, at the, uh, we look at the aftermarket as making up these key factors. Uh, total asset visibility is one of them uh, and one we're, we're really focused on, but it, it goes hand in hand with these other ones, especially on supply chain and supply chain management. Obviously, the repair and overhaul business, uh, which could include, include an upmod or field service or, or the like, uh, is very important to that overall uh, value chain, as well as customer management. You know, do you have a call center or some kind of technical support? So there's actually a customer portal that we'll talk about later that's available. Uh, in our, our broader uh, aftermarket solution. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're looking at the whole aftermarket value chain, uh, not just one piece of it, and how those things tie together. So how are we doing that? Um, <clears throat> first off, Cognitus is uh, very, uh, also very experienced in developing uh, solutions um, for SAP, especially around government contracting and 
uh, and finance and such. And so these are some of the things that uh, we've already developed today. And you can see the ones in red are things that are already going to be leveraged into the broader uh, CIS aftermarket um, solution set that we're uh, putting out uh, as an offering. Um, but the key components of what we have built really revolve around these uh, solution sets, which a lot of which are uh, custom transactions that are um, kind of enablers of the, the combined or existing SAP process uh, in S4 today. So in some cases, uh, there's some additional enhancements on top of S4 that kind of make these this uh, these workbenches work more efficiently. In some cases, it's really just around uh, getting a better uh, view and um, user experience for the end customer, the SAP customer, uh, to be able to uh, streamline their ability to execute these processes in SAP, some of which are transaction heavy. So at the end of the day, uh, we focused on on these uh, particular applications, uh, contract management and contract flow down, which gives us the ability to have flow down objects all the way to the, uh, the purchase order that comes out of a service order in SAP. Uh, induction workbench, and we view the induction as the time that you identify that something's come back from the pair to the time that is staged and ready to go to the shop floor. Uh, the repair planner workbench is around how do we do that initial inspection and then do the proper work scoping to affect that repair and then pass it along to the technicians who are actually doing the repair. Uh, we currently do not have any plans to address a shop floor MES. Uh, our intention is really to um, integrate with something that a customer has. SAP has some very good tools already in MES, and we don't really want to um, uh, go outside of that lane uh, particularly either, but we're, we're, we're kind of MES agnostic uh, in the solution set that we're offering in aftermarket today. And then finally, shipping it. Documentation is very important, getting out the, the door uh, with an asset. You know, it's not just, uh, uh, we, yeah, the work is done, but the paperwork is important too, as well as we want to get paid. And to get paid uh, to, for completing that repair, we need the, the documentation uh, buttoned up. Uh, and there's a very good check sheet in that, which we'll uh, uh, get to um, when we do the demonstration on the shipping workbench that we can talk to. Uh, the government furnished material is stuff that already came over from uh, CS, AD, uh, uh, or government con uh, that Cognitas has already created, and we're also creating some supply chain execution reports that really facilitate um, the WIP process uh, as go things go through the shop floor from a repair planner's perspective and a repair uh, manager's perspective, as well as uh, sourcing in case there's things that we can't find through the typical standard SAP plant specific sources uh, that we can look outside of that. So all those are key capabilities in the broader solution map for uh, Cognitas. Um, Going forward, here's some examples, some screenshots of some of the workbenches. You can see that we're everything is uh, S4 based. It's also uh, Fiori enabled. It's mobile enabled and cloud enabled. And, and here is where it's a, a much better user experience. You know, you've got all these transactions it takes to execute through these uh, critical processes in aftermarket. So instead of having to hunt and peck through SAP to kind of find the key transactions, we brought them all together in, in this each uh, value chain, if you will. Uh, and enabled them to be able to launch standard SAP transactions, or in some cases, pop-ups uh, that replace the standard transactions that complete the transactions in the background. So all that is uh, configurable to the end uh, user, which uh, we're really kind of proud of. It makes gives you many options, and I think that's one of the, the key features of uh, CIS Aftermarket versus some of the other solution sets that are out there is very configurable and doesn't force you into one uh, repair execution process in SAP. There's multiple ways to kind of skin the cat as we all know, and uh, we're not, um, we're allowing, uh, especially SAP customers who've had SAP for a long time, the ability to um, navigate through uh, for the repair process in, in a couple of the different ways that may they may have chosen rather than some that they're being kind of forced down. So to that end, um, here's the broader solution set as we see it uh, for aftermarket. It really focuses on four lines of business, the MRO execution or services perspective, field service, uh, call center and what we call kind of cross-functional or or core back office functions like uh, contract management, warranty, uh, spares management with rollable pools, et cetera. All those things we have addressed in some key feature of CIS aftermarket or uh, CIS GovCon for AMD, um, which is also cross industry as well. Uh, but anyway, that's the broader capability that we've addressed and uh, we sincerely hope that you reach out to us and uh, set us up, uh, ask us up for a demo sometime. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.